Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at a pen that I've actually looked at quite often, but never actually bought. And that is a Diplomat Arrow. And it is the violet one, which is the favorite colorway uh, for me. Also love the pink, but um, I still didn't buy it. This is on loan uh, for me, and I'm really excited to review it. So let's switch a shot and go look at it up close. All right, here we have the Diplomat Arrow in all its glory. This color is really speaking to me. I love it. It is a beautiful looking pen. Um, it has all these nice ridges on the body and it is very streamlined. And uh, it brings to mind a Zeppelin, at least that's what Diplomat wants you to think about. Now, here is the Diplomat logo as it were, or lettering on the cap. On the top, we have, I hope that focuses properly, we have the actual logo logo. Um, it's really hard to capture. And here at the end of the barrel is a silver point. It has kind of a bullet-like shape to it. Um, and the material feels really nice. Um, I'm assuming it's a type of aluminum because it's not too heavy, this pen. And um, these come in all kinds of finishes. So this is the violet version, but there is different stripe versions. There is a pink one that I really like. Um, there's just a variety of these uh, pens. So clip is very simple, but suits the body. And let's see, that is definitely usable. And um, it's. I think it's a good uh, bring along to work pen. It feels like it's built really, really well. Um, up opposite side of the Diplomat, we have Germany right there. It's a German made pen and yeah, it is lovely. Now, I uh, said earlier that I have been looking at this pen quite often and I've never really pulled the trigger because I have one qualm is that it is quite pricey for getting a steel nib. Now I'll show you the nib and it is it is a fine nib as in it writes fine. Um, there's no problem with it. Um, but yeah, I was always kind of on the fence about that because I could get a gold nib for a similar price. Now, Pricers differ a little bit uh, depending on the finish, um, but they're, they range from like $130 to like $400. You can get this pen with a gold nib, but that makes it a way more premium pen and the price goes up a lot. So <clears throat> the price like around $300, $400 is for the gold nibbed pen. All right, so this is cartridge converter. And it is very practical. I don't mind cartridge converter at all. Um, I actually prefer it sometimes because I like switching inks. Um, and that's just easier with that. Length. Length, it is a very decently sized pen. Um, I would not post this. I don't even know if you can. You can, it's very secure, but it becomes very bag heavy. Not my favorite thing. I would say not really a posting pen in my opinion. Now, the material, it feels good, but I have a, I have a qualm or like a, an, an aside to the good feeling. I like the material, but I have very like dry skin sometimes as opposed to sweaty. For sweaty hands, it's perfect. It feels like it's going to fall out of my hands because it's like, like it's perfect for sweaty hands, but I, I get really dry fingers, especially when I um, wash my hands a lot. Um, and it's just weird to me. Now, weight is good, balance is good. Uh, I like that the grip is really long, so you can grip it here, but also closer to the nib to give you more control. Um, but yeah, it is a lovely, lovely pen. But as I said, steel nibbed, and I wish it was gold nibbed. Writing sample. I will give you a writing sample as usual. All right, so a steel nib, 
Um, I was starting with the Ink Steel nib. I think it's a Jowo nib, um, and it's a fine writer. Uh, Sailor Soten is the ink I'm using today. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. Um, it's a lovely turquoisey blue ink. It's not super turquoisey. Um, it leans more blue, but it is a great ink. Diplomat, arrow, medium nib. And it is, I would say, true medium, which is very nice. Now, I wouldn't say this is buttery, um, but it's decently smooth. It's definitely not scratchy. There is just a little bit of uh, feedback, too much feedback to call it buttery, so. Um, yeah, it's kind of lovely. Uh, would I, uh, now that I've used it a little bit, use it, buy it for myself? I have hesitations about this, so um, the qualms I have mostly is about the grip. Like nib and um, body are fine. I love the way it looks. It is definitely gorgeous, but I I don't love the grip on this pen. Um, I don't know if it's just the material or the width, um, but it's just not for me. Doesn't mean it's not a good pen. It is definitely a good pen. It lays down a nice amount of ink, has a uh, good weight to it, lovely material. Like, there's so many pluses about this pen. It's just not my favorite pen. All right, I hope you found this somewhat informative. I'm really uh, glad I got to, like, um, finally test my curiosity about this pen. Um, and honestly, it's okay that it's not for me. Uh, I got to use it, but yeah, that's it. I'm not buying it. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.